What's going on, everybody? Afflicted Gamer here. Welcome to Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So we're here in the beta, and I wanted to show you guys all of the different classes that you get to choose from here in Ghost Recon Breakpoint, along with the skill tree and the way that it branches out. We have quite a bit to cover because it is a pretty big skill tree here, but there are a lot of cool things that we have here in Ghost Recon Breakpoint that you can do with your character. So. If you guys enjoy the video, drop a like on it, it's much appreciated, and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more Ghost Recon Breakpoint content. So once you've done the first mission and you have unlocked ER1 and you've gone to the bivouac, all that good stuff, your tutorial, basically the first part, is done, you then can unlock skills and your different classes that you get to choose from. You are not limited to just one of these, you can unlock all of them if you wish. So, let's go over each one for starters. First up, we have the Field Medic. Your class technique is a healing drone, heals and revives friendly teammates. Your class item is a med kit, hand deployable device, heals injuries and gain extra health. You have class proficiencies which are faster revive, carry bodies faster, and you can actually self revive. Next up we have Assault. Your class technique is True Grit, Recoil Reduction and Damage Resistance. Kills heal and extend duration. Your class item is a gas grenade and your class proficiencies are extra health, bonuses with assault rifles and shotguns. Panther is next. Your class technique is cloak and run, disappear behind a smoke screen. Class item is a cloaking spray. Self use renders user undetectable by drones. Class proficiencies are bonus stealth, faster movement speed and suppressors on handguns and submachine guns do not reduce damage. Finally, Sharpshooter. Class technique is Armor Burser. High penetration bullets with bonus damage and muzzle velocity. Your class item is a sensor launcher. Launch device marks enemies in a large area. Your class proficiencies are longer breath control while aiming. Bonuses with sniper rifles and DMR. So I've already unlocked the Assault and medic from there you go up to basics basics are close to personal plus 15 percent reload speed plus 10 percent mobility night vision your parachute and an xp gain once you've unlocked your basics i honestly recommend that you scroll over everything else i will still go into them but the reason why i'm mentioning this is because once you unlock two of the different abilities here in basics you can then branch off into the other sections for instance weapons unlock two here you go into mark one and two sections or you can go up into recon unlock two here and then go further into recon or move up into sniper so on and so forth so depending on what your play style is i would take a look at everything just to make sure that you're upgrading your character in the way that you want to Okay, so after basics, we have weapons. First up, we have plus 40% maximum ammo and plus 10% ammo pickup. Pistol arrow, plus 50% reload speed and plus 20% damage while using a handgun. Maximum ammo, which gives you plus 25% extra ammo. And then better dismantle, scavenge more parts when dismantling weapons. After that, you go into the Mark 1 section here, upgrade weapons to Mark 2 in the gunsmith to refine and customize them. And then this next one is just a Mark 3 version. So, uh, I'm not too sure how I feel about, uh, honestly, the interface here with the scrolling over items. It does kind of feel like how it should on a PC, but here on console, it feels a little bit odd. All right, over to the left, we have your extra perk slots. So. Equip an extra perk to power up and better define your playstyle. And then you have, yet again, another one over here. Just extra skill points for each. After weapons, we'll go over to Recon, where you do have your Thermal Vision. We've got your Intel Grenade, a hand thrown device, mark enemies in an area, unlock for crafting in and in Maria's shop. Resources Detection adds icon on your minimap that indicate nearby resources to pick up. Extremely helpful for crafting because there are a lot of different things that you can craft here in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Recon Mastery. Minus 10% technique cooldown and plus 40% XP gain every time you mark an enemy with your drone. 
further into recon we have drone speed drone range drone marked area drone cooldown and then finally drone visions to use recon drones night and thermal vision but it does not apply to pvp some of the things that you will unlock here they won't apply to pvp or ghost war Moving up from Recon into Sniper, we have Rolling Thunder, plus 20% weapon damage, plus 20% damage to drones. Gunslinger, plus 15 accuracy, plus 15 handling. Next up, Iron Lungs, plus 100% breath control. And finally, Ballistic Advantage, plus 40 range, plus 20 accuracy. So, not a bad setup, especially if you enjoy sniping. Moving over to Stealth, we have 6 Sense, plus 25 meter automatic marking. Sync Shot Drone, returning from Ghost Recon Wildlands, so I'm sure you all know what that already is, so I don't need to explain it. Sensor Hack, plus 10% damage to drones, plus 40% drone evasion. And then Slim Shadow, equip this perk to gain this effect, plus 50 Stealth. Gadgets. Breach Torch, hand deployable device, high temperature tech torch used to cut holes in wire fences. I cannot wait to actually unlock and use that. Explosives Expert, plus 20% items area of effect, plus 20% explosive damage, plus 40% throw range. Explosives Mark II, upgraded versions of C4, frag grenades, and mines. And finally, item capacity gets bumped up by one. Furthermore, into gadgets, we have the shop clearance, which consumables are 50% cheaper in Maria's shop. You get EMP grenades, item capacity gets bumped up yet again, and finally drone scavenger, which more parts from drones. You get more parts from drones. Okay, next up in the skill tree, we've got survival. You have stamina regen speed, which gives you plus 20% stamina regen. Rations level 2, craft advance rations in the bivouac, better effects and longer duration. Tireless, minus 20% stamina costs. Burst forth, plus 10% movement speed, plus 75% stamina regen. Because you do have that stamina bar now in Ghost Recon Wildlands, it does deplete very quickly, so all of these you are going to need. Okay, over into tactics. Specialized item carrier, you get one extra class item capacity slot. Inspired, for every kill by an ally, you get some of your health back. Technique accelerant, minus 10% technique cooldown. And finally, revivalist, plus 20% movement speed, plus 40% damage resistance. Further into tactics, we have specialized item carrier, <clears throat> excuse me, plus one class item capacity, technique accelerant, minus 10% technique cooldown, drone hunter, after destroying a drone, health restore, instantly heal back some of your health for you and all teammates. Finally, we have a convoy upgrade, get better quality gear and weapons from convoys. So it looks like we will be shooting them down quite a bit here at Ghost Recon Breakpoint, similar to Wildlands. Alright, from there we're going to go over to the survival section. We've got Mountaineer for sub, plus 75% slide control. Passive, we have water filter, plus 2 water canteen capacity. Speed Climber, plus 20% climb speed, so especially when you're running uphill, it'd be nice to move a little bit quicker, especially if enemies are on your tail. Rations, level 3. Craft extreme rations in the bivouac, better effects, and longer duration yet again. So, not too bad. Alright, Assault. We have a healing pouch, which gives you an extra syringe. Gorilla. For every hit with a shotgun, plus 10% damage resistance, plus 20% health regen speed. Next, we have the rocket launcher. Unguided explosive missile unlocks for crafting in Maria's shop. Finally, adrenaline. After a CQC kill, close quarters kill, health restore. Instantly heal back some of your health. Further into Assault, we have an extra slot for your syringes with the healing pouch. 
feel no pain. Relentless cannot reach critical injury levels plus 25% injury resistance. Can't wait to actually unlock that. Syringe Mark II. Self-use, faster healing, removes some injuries. And finally, Twig. A minus 30% damage resistance, minus 30% health regen delay, plus 100% regen speed. Okay. So, like I said, this is a really, really big skill tree here. Economy. Armory upgrade. Get better quality weapons when buying weapons on demand. Extra skill credits. Helicopter sale. They become available in the shop. And then plus 10% scale credits here. Finally, we've got weaponized vehicles. Heavy and weaponized vehicles become available in the shop. So, yeah, that was a lot to go over. I know it was a little bit longer of a video, but I wanted to show you guys absolutely everything that you have in the different skill trees here that you can unlock for your character. It's going to take quite a while to unlock absolutely everything. And I must say, I do like this setup and layout better than Ghost Recon Wildlands. But that is just me. So, now I want to hear from you guys down in the comments section. What do you think of the skill tree here in Ghost Recon Breakpoint? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you think that this looks better than Ghost Recon Wildlands? Or do you prefer the setup that they had in Wildlands versus this one? Let me know all of that good stuff. But other than that, guys, like I said at the beginning, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. Please do leave your thoughts and comments down below. Don't forget that you can follow me over on Twitter at AfflictedGamer. And I'll see you very soon in the next video which mu with much more Ghost Recon Breakpoint content. And until then, guys, thank you again so much for watching.